All right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, all across the globe, top of the afternoon to you. If you're on the eastern part of the world here in the United States, thank you so much for joining us. Those listening live, appreciate you so much today. Hey, this is your transformational midday moment with Dr. Larry Carnes, Elder Kevin Vaughn here. Doc, good to see you, sir. How are you today, sir? I'm doing well. Optimum blessings to you. How are you? Yeah, I received the optimum blessings. Optimum blessings to you as well, Doc. And ladies and gentlemen, we think that uh, we trust that you're having a great day as well. It's a new week, guys, a new week. Monday, some of you are already in your businesses, in your workplace, and thank you so much for your time. And those who are listening live, appreciate you so much. Hey, I always want to encourage you to share this out after we finish here today and uh, so other people can be blessed. Hey, we've been talking about the power. Man, one of the best vocabulary words in my network, folks, in my mind, is the power of transformation. Transformation is amazing, folks. It's a wonderful journey, wonderful opportunity for for me, I'll just use me, for me to get better and better each and every day. But it is a process, folks, and you do have the power to get in, involved in this process as well. Hey, with that said, hey, we're going to let Doc do his thing. Doc, thank you so much for your time today. This is your midday, transformational midday moment. Thank you so much, Doc. Well, optimum blessings, and thank you. We extend the optimum blessings to those who are watching, decreeing and declaring the greatest and most favorable degree of God's mm -hmm. growth, increase, and reproduction continuously operating, manifesting, and being demonstrated in every area of your lives. We're declaring everything lost, stolen, or forfeited is returned, nothing broken, nothing missing, nothing lacking, but the total restoration of all that God intended for you when he gave birth to you from his matrix, his womb, which is the spirit of God. I want to ask you this today as we begin our journey. Notice uh, transformation has different components. And you hear me say the power of transformation is this, the power of transformation is that. That's because they're all connected. You can't settle it on one thing. There's a combination of things. There's a series of things that are necessary in order for you and I to be transformed. The power of transformation, you, need, you might want to mic check this and write this down. The power of transformation is overcoming your fear of soaring above the self-defeating thoughts that have shackled you and keep you operating in a sense of mediocrity. Mm -hmm. Now that's a mouthful right there. Mm -hmm. What's gripped you in your life that keeps you hanging around because you have a fear of soaring and you have made a decision, notice you have made a decision to, be, to, to allow mediocrity to be part of your culture. Now watch this, watch this now. There's a self-defeating mindset, and that self-defeating mindset keeps you from taking the leap, keeps you from taking the leap into greatness, because you think if you take the leap, you're going to fall. Well, there's a notice that there's a falling component even in the success. Because as you jump and you begin to fall, you're falling to land at your designated place. See, you take the leap, but then you land at the place where you were trying to get to. So there is a dissension in the ascension. You have to ascend, but in the process of you ascending, you're going to have to descend in order to land on the designated place that you were trying to get to. So don't be afraid of falling because falling is part of the success. Right. You, 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 you got to get this. And I thought about something. Wow. There are times when you need to be pushed. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Part of what, and, and see, and I understand that I'm, I'm here to push you. Yeah. Because if I don't push you, you're going to stay in the nest. The eagle has to push the eaglet from the nest. Because yep. the eaglet has gotten comfortable with the eagle feeding, and all the eaglet has to do is sit there and start to cry and open the mouth and eat. Now you have to learn how to hunt. The power of transformation is empowering you so that you can learn how to hunt for yourself. So you won't have to depend on someone else to feed you. You don't need someone to stroke your ego. You don't need someone to stroke you for you to be confident and the abilities for you to be confident, to stretch out and use the gifts and the talents that you were born with. You simply need to uncover and discover what your gifts and talents are. That's why I'm here to push you because mm -hmm. you won't take the leap. 
Yeah. You need to recognize, listen to this. I wrote something down here. Mm -hmm. You have to be pushed with someone with the ability to recognize the greatness that's in you. And as you all tune in week after week after week, as Elder Kevin and I are here, it's because we recognize the greatness that's in you. And then I'm going to push you. Absolutely, Doc. Thank you. Take the lead. So what if you fail? Success comes through failures. Take the lead. Right. So what if you don't hit the mark the first time? That's where you learn what not to do the next time. Take the leap. The push is the greatest gift that I can offer you. Mm -hmm. yeah. The greatest gift that we can offer someone is to push. I've been pushed so many times. Let me share this with you. I was pushed when my, my mentor said, Larry, I want the Bible college to start and you're the dean. I wasn't on full-time staff at that church. I was still working at, at the nuclear facility as, as a training yep. operation training manager. I'm work, I had a, you know, I had a, I'm I'm doing four tens every week. Then I'm right. gonna leave there and go to the church. I got to get this Bible study. Then it said to me, but this other pastor who was degreed and had graduated from schools was supposed to get it done. And he didn't get us, he didn't get it started. And that was said to me. So and so and so and so had the assignment. He never did get it done. I'm looking like, well, if he didn't get it done, I was comparing myself to someone else. I was thinking less of myself. Stop comparing yourself to someone else and thinking less of yourself. Because when you think less of yourself, you hold yourself hostage and it's no one else. It's you. You have to take the leap. The power of transformation is overcoming your fear of failure. Mm -hmm. You need to overcome your fear of failure. Listen to this now. When we take care of our, I, I wrote this one down. I was thinking about it. We take care of our future by taking care of our present. Yeah. You take care of your future by taking care of your now. Right. Because now is. You never live in the future. We live in the now. The power of transformation is living in your now. Don't be afraid of the push. The push is necessary if you're going to overcome your fear of failure and be all you were created to be. Take the leap and you uncover and discover that greater is he who's in you than he who's in the world. Remember to always out love, out serve, out forgive each other. Optimum blessings to you. Oh man, Doc, that's another uh, workshop there, Doc. I love it. Appreciate you today on that late guy, ladies, joke. Hey, the takeaway today for me: live in the now, folks. That's right now, right this second. And believe it or not, guys, whether you believe it or not, uh, whatever we do right now will affect your future, folks. So you got to think about what's going on right today and what needs to be done today, and then that will affect can it can affect your future. If you think about it, hey, please understand that the power of transformation, the transformation process is a spiritual journey, folks. It is spiritual. And you got to understand it's an inside job that is inside of me and inside of you. It's something you need to learn about, guys. It's something you don't get in five minutes, 10 minutes or even five years. I would almost say, Doc, you may not get this in 50 years. <laughs> it may take a minute for you to get the yeah. power of transformation. You know, it just takes a little different. Everybody has their own journey. It's not the same. Uh, it, it took me, I'm still learning now, ladies. I'm 66 years old and still learning some stuff. That said, man, if I'd known that, but I can't worry about what I should have known is what I know now. <laughs> Praise God. So thank you, Doc, again, uh, for the power transformation and the teaching of the optimum return as well. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, you guys got to get this, as Doc says. Matter of fact, that's just another T-shirt, Doc, I recommend you get in the future for 2024. You got to get this. <laughs> you got to get, get it. You got to get more information about the power transformation. Well, how do you do that? Well, you can set up some time if you can catch him uh, on his network, guys. You can catch Dr. Carnes for an appointment, official appointment. Go to his website, lcmi.world, lcmi.world. I trust most of you have already done that. But please, for those who haven't, go to lcmi.world for more information about his teaching, coaching, and training. They also, too, you can catch him on uh, Facebook, guys, under Optimum Leadership Coach. Optimum Leadership Coach as well. You can DM them there. 
and say, hey, Doc, I need some time to talk about this power transformation or some other areas that you may need some help in as well. Hey, also too, Doc's on Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, he's under the optimizer, dr.c, the optimizer, dr.c. And I highly recommend for those avid readers and those folks who love Amazon and love purchasing books, guys, you can purchase Doc's books uh, on his website, lcmi.world, or you can go to Amazon under either Larry Carnes or Dr. Larry Carnes and, and get all three books, guys, if you can, but get one for sure, The Power of Transformation, and get the other two. As you know, we got the holidays coming up, and it's a good opportunity to order your books now so you can have them for yourself. Add them to your personal library, guys. Keep them handy. Uh, refer to them. Highlight them. All the above. Uh, keep some in the car. You know, whatever you got to do, guys. The goal is to make sure you are learning this process, as we, uh, we call it, The Power of Transformation. I can tell you, this is the one that's missing in most of our lives today, folks. It will literally change your life and those around you. And you won't even have to say anything to the other people. You'll just be taking care of you. I love it. So appreciate you, Doc, for this wonderful teaching that you give us and have been given over the years. Appreciate you so much on that. Our hey, guys. Yes, sir. I received. Hey, we got to go, guys. Appreciate you. Hey, guys, I want you to share this out. You guys have been doing a great job there. No doubt about that. You guys have been pushing us to the limits on the uh, on the on the network, guys. Thank you again for that. Without you guys, none of the uh, views and none of the uh, uh, feedback would even happen. So we thank you so much for that. We don't take that for granted. So please share this out on your platform. You just never know who's going to be blessed by what the words of Doc said today. Hey guys, live in the now, and uh, you can do anything you want to do if you decide to do it. All right, appreciate you. You ever yep. see that, that, now it's important they have to get this the the thing was they have to take the leap yeah the the the, the power of transformation is overcoming yeah. the fear yeah. of soaring so that's the, that's that's what they need to get from today overcome your fear of soaring yep. and take the leap and in order to do that you have to leave the nest you have to leave that comfort zone yes, so sir. overcome the fear of soaring and take the leap and sometimes it's necessary that yeah. someone will push you. So don't be offended and don't get angry at the pusher. Right. Because yeah. the pusher is thinking about your best interest and not their right. best interest. That's a good one, Doc, right there. That's the key right there, is not to get offended and not to get the attitude about it. <laughs> That's a big thing right there, folks. Hey, I was just thinking too, Doc, earlier when you said that, uh, too, that you got to also understand, ladies and gentlemen, that you got to you're not going to die in the process, okay? <laughs> people people will push you to a certain limit, but guess what? They're not going to kill you. They're not going to hurt you in any way, okay? You got to get that part. They're not going to push you to where you get hurt. So that's important too, folks. Some people think, well, I ain't going to do that. Well, you, you're not you're not going to die. You're not going to get hurt from the process, folks. So yeah. important to understand that. Yeah, and that's provided you're in the right place. See, all, 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 all this, there are several components to this because there are some people that you're connected to that you don't yeah. need to be connected to. Right. They, they, yeah. they, shouldn't, they shouldn't be your pusher. Right. There are some people that, that we may have been sitting under that we shouldn't be sitting under. They shouldn't yeah. be your pusher. Right. So we have to understand the difference between leaders and, the, and, yeah. and di dictators. Right. A person can be in a leadership position but be a dictator. They'll be holding you hostage. They're right. not the ones to push you because they're not pushing you into purpose. So all leadership isn't leadership that's that, 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 that's that's released to empower right. you. Yep. Some leadership will limit and restrict you. So you have to be in the right place with the mm -hmm. right leader. So it's not a blanket thing that's applicable to everyone because right. I've seen it abused. Right. And so it will be abused. So that's why you have to be sensitive. You try yep. the spirit by the spirit and see if that's who you're supposed to be connected to. Classic example, and this isn't a Bible study, but a classic example. David was assigned to Saul for Saul to be his mentor, but Saul tried to kill David. So David had to have the wisdom to know when to separate from Saul. Yeah. See, so just because you're, you, you're, in a, you're in a place with a leader, that doesn't mean that you, you're going to stay with that leader. However, you don't do anything to bring any harm to that leader. You have, must have the wisdom and the knowledge to know when it's time to separate because some leaders can be a part of God's plan for your life, but they're not where you need to stick and stay. And you need to know when to avoid them because when the spirit of Saul rises up in your leader, that spirit will attempt to kill you, to nail you to the wall, and it will throw the javelin at you. 
And you have to know when supper yeah. is ended and you need to get up from that table. So Amen. just because there's an empty seat at the table for you doesn't mean that you need to occupy that seat. That's a whole different thing. Amen. Exactly, guys. Hey, that's why it's important, guys, to get more information. You know, people get a little information and they run with it and not understand the history and understand the background and even have the wisdom behind it. That's why it's important to, to be around the right people, as Doc mentioned, guys. But it's a journey, folks. It's a journey. Uh, I believe most of you out there need that journey. Some of you may be already in that journey. That's great. We thank God for you. And guess what? I'm praying for you for sure. I know Doc is as well. We're praying for you guys that you much you have success each and every day. It is a journey. So keep learning, guys, and keep uh, tuning in. Hey, we're here Mondays and Fridays, guys. Doc, I don't know if we'll be on this Friday for sure because we've got a, such a great, uh, we've got a busy week this week. So we won't be on this Friday, I'm sure. But uh, we'll be picking it back up next Monday, Lord willing, guys, on your midday transformational moment. I know we're going to be out of town uh, on Friday. So uh, yeah, just the things, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, see what yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Just want to let people know. So appreciate you so much, guys. But you can uh, share this out. And uh, we thank you so much for your time today. All right. Got, uh, Doc, thank you again for your time, sir. Optimal blessings. Amen. Y'all have a great day, guys. Enjoy it and be intentional and enjoy the moments, guys. Appreciate you so much for your time. This has been your midday transformational moment with Dr. Larry Carnes, Elder Kevin Vaughn. Take care, everybody.